Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good. In today's video I'm going to be swatching some autumn colours that I bought from DMN Beauty. I really just needed a couple of extra ones to add to my collection so I thought I would swatch them to share with you guys. So all of the colours that I chose in this order are the ones that are available in pots. They do also have gel polishes that are in bottles as well, which I've probably shown you guys on my channel before. So this gorgeous colour is 083. And as you can see, it's a gorgeous brown. I don't have any brown gel polishes in my collection. And I love this one that has a hint of orange to it so it's like an orange toned brown it's such a gorgeous color it reminds me of acorns so it's absolutely perfect for autumn and some of the dmn beauty colors have names and some of them are still just numbers i think maybe they go through the process of naming them or something like that so i will leave a link in the description box below directly to all of the individual colors just in case you guys want to purchase any of them yourselves so let's get on to the swatching. I'm coming in with a super thin first coat of colour. I'm making sure to get a nice neat cuticle area and then I'm dragging that colour down towards the free edge and I then pop that in to cure for 30 seconds. Whenever I'm working with any gel polish, I like to work in thin coats. You will find that it's better to use two to three thin coats rather than one or two thicker coats. So just keep those layers nice and thin for that flawless application. So then this is the second coat where you can see how gorgeous this brown is. I'm definitely going to be using this one a lot this autumn, I think. It's probably a nice colour to take you in to Christmassy nails as well. And it applied absolutely beautifully. So I'm then going to pop that second coat in to cure for 60 seconds. And I'm then going to come in and top coat it with the DMN Beauty No Wipe Top Coat. So you can also get their top and base coats in pot form as well, but I personally chose to have the bottle versions of those. And then that is that gorgeous colour. The second colour I then chose was number 136 and it's this gorgeous, I don't know, like dusky pink purple colour. I wanted a few lighter colours for autumn as well, just so I could tie them in with the darker colours and I don't have many... No, I'm not going to say nude because this isn't really a nude colour, but I didn't have anything like this in gel polish that I was happy with. So I'm so glad that I went for this colour and it applied absolutely beautiful as well. I know some of these kind of colours end up needing three coats, but this one you could definitely get away with just doing two. So I'm applying it exactly the same as before. I like to make sure that I get a nice neat cuticle area before then pulling that colour down towards the free edge. And here I was just checking that I thought I'd missed a patch here. So I just went in and touched that up. Then cured it in my LED lamp for 60 seconds and we're coming in with that second coat of colour. So as you can see, when I'm working with these gel polishes in a pot, I do work slightly different than what I do with the bottled ones. I sort of pick up a small ball of gel nudge it around at the cuticle area into place and then pull the top of the colour down. I just find that you get a really nice neat cuticle area this way. And then once that second coat had cured I'm going to come in and top coat and then this is where you can really see how gorgeous this colour is. This is obviously not a too autumnal colour, you could definitely use this one all year round but I liked, I just liked how it worked with some of the other autumn colours that I had, I had chose. Then next up we have 014. This was my favourite one of all of the ones I ordered. It's a gorgeous like berry purple colour. It's just so rich and beautiful. I was struggling to show you guys it here. The lighting was just bouncing off of how shiny the surface of the gel is. So because it's a darker colour, you do need to be a little bit more careful when you're working up at that cuticle area because if you did get any on the skin, it would likely stain even if you wiped it off. So I'm just being super careful, nudging that up into place before dragging the colour down. And I decided today I would do my swatches on my Glamour Liz hand. I just thought it would be a little bit different. I only really do swatches for the sake of a YouTube video. I don't really ever find myself using swatch sticks. I have a lot of my colours on swatch sticks, but I never reach for them to look at the colours. So I find them a little bit pointless, but I do like to do a few swatch videos if I purchase some new colours. 
so yeah, I thought I'd do something a little different today and swatch them on my Glamour Liz hand. So let me know if you prefer that to swatching on swatch sticks. So I had cured that first coat and we're then coming in with our second coat. This colour, I don't know if maybe it would require three coats just to get that full on even coverage. I only did two and I was pleased with it but you might need to do three depending on the base that you're going over. I'm going over clear tips which is always that little bit more tricky I find than going over a nude base. So once I'd cured that we're going to come in and top coat and I think this colour looks absolutely beautiful with the previous colour, that dusky purple. I think they would go really well together in a set. And I do want to apologise for the groggy voice. The reason this video was delayed is because I've just had a bit of a cold and been really run down all week. But I thought, you know what, I just need to get it voiced over and up on my channel so it's done. So I do apologise for how crappy I sound. Anyway, the next colour I have to share with you guys is number 127 and it is a gorgeous creamy nude. Now I know this isn't really an autumn colour as such, but I didn't have many nude colours that worked well with the autumn colours that I'd picked out for this order. So I'm glad I picked up this one because I think it works so well with the brown and that berry purple as well. So I'm just applying a nice thin layer of this. This one had a bit more of a creamier texture, I think because it's so highly pigmented you probably could get away with just doing one coat of this but I did apply two just to get a nice even color application there I just had a little bit of fluff stuck in the nail so again I'm going to pop that in to cure for 60 seconds before coming in and applying that second coat annoyingly I really struggled to get that little bit of fluff off I was just showing you guys here that that's only one coat of colour and it has such a full on coverage. But I am just going to come in and apply a thin second coat just to make sure it's all nice and even. Keeping that nice and thin because we don't actually need much coverage with this coat. And then once I've applied that I'll pop that in to cure as well for 60 seconds. I was being a little bit fussy here because where I'd had something stuck in the previous layer and I'd picked it out a little bit, you know, that little bit of lint or fluff, whatever it was, I just felt as though the colour wasn't going on evenly. So that's why I was just being a little bit picky there. But then I did pop it into cure for 60 seconds and now we're going to come in and top coat. Now look at these four colours, I actually think you could get away with wearing all four of them together. Maybe not as plain nails like this, but you could definitely do little accents or nail art with these four colours. So I'm so glad that I did choose these. I then also got two glitters because let's face it, we all need a little bit of glitter. So I'm going to share them with you guys next. First up, we have this gorgeous purple and silver mix. Now, as you can see, these are really concentrated with glitter, which is absolutely fab because it means that they apply lovely and you can get full on glitter coverage with only one or two coats. But I love how just jam packed they are with glitter. So I'm picking up that small ball, like I said, of the gel and I just sort of wriggle it into place at the cuticle area and then bring it down the nail. Now, when you're working, with glitter gels you do you kind of if you work too heavy with your brush you can pull a lot of the glitter off if that makes sense so as you can see here I'd pulled a lot of it down the nail I hadn't worked with glitter gel in a while so I just come in again and this time more we'll float it on just more lighter touches with the brush basically just so that you're not pulling it all off the nail especially when working over tips like this because they haven't got much of a tacky base underneath for the glitter to grab onto but just look how concentrated that is with only one coat. So I then popped that in to cure for 60 seconds and I decided to do a second coat just so I could show you guys how full on you could get it. Like if you build up the glitter, you can get even more coverage. But with this coat, I don't apply as much because it's just not needed. But I'm working with the gel in that exact same technique. So just rolling and nudging my brush up towards the cuticle area and then light strokes to pull that colour down. 
And then again, I'll pop this in to cure for 60 seconds. And I decided I would top coat the two glitter nails together at the end. So next, we're going to jump straight in to the next glitter. And this one, this is absolutely stunning. I think this would work better for winter nails. It doesn't have too much of an autumn tone to it. It's kind of a platinum colour. I don't really want to say it's silver. It's like silver glitter with a bit of a gold base, if that makes sense. It's so pretty. So I'm going to come in and just giving it a little stir to make sure that there's a nice amount of glitter distributed on my brush and then applying it the exact same way as we applied the purple. It's a bit hard to see in this lighting what I mean by the silver and gold. Like I found it hard to describe whether it was silver or gold. But I do share a little clip at the end which shows it a little bit better. It's such a gorgeous colour on its own. But these kind of gel polishes, I absolutely love them if you want to have an accent now or a nail with some stamping. You know, like where you have the glitter with the stamping over the top. I love that look and it's a lot quicker to do that with a glitter gel polish rather than a raw glitter so they're fab for that it's definitely worth having some glitter gel polishes in your collection and one like this would go with so many colors so it's one of those kind of must-haves for your collection so then i've popped that in to cure for 60 seconds and we're going to come in and apply the second coat now this glitter one wasn't as concentrated as the purple one and that can be quite good because it means it will work well with things like glitter fades because you could just use one coat of it to get a really nice glitter fade and then if you want full-on coverage you can just come in and apply the second coat like i'm applying here and just look how beautiful that looks it looks even more shiny once I come in and top coat. So obviously I have cured that and I'm then going to come in with that DMN Beauty No Wipe Top Coat. I'm going to top coat both of these nails and then pop them in to cure for 60 seconds. And then I can share the final result with you guys. Just in case I didn't say it at the start of the video, I will leave individual links in the description box below to all of the colours. So if you are looking for any of the colours, I've made it nice and easy and popped all of the links in the description box below. DMN Beauty have also just brought out some more autumn colours as well. So if you are looking for some autumn colours, I definitely would recommend checking out their website. And then just look how shiny these are. I have left some clips and pics at the end for you guys to check out. Thank you all so much for watching and I shall hopefully see you all again in my next video. Lots of love. Bye bye.